So I'm going to run some automated tests. Let's hit return and watch the magic happen. I'm documenting the launch of my business on YouTube. Will it succeed? Let's find out. Now get myself out of the way here, we can see what we got, which are these tests, which it's automated tests. So what it actually does is it launches a browser and starts running through my entire app. And it runs the test just automatically. Yeah, so it just, you know, it does something, checks if the right thing happened and tells me if it doesn't. So, I mean, it's kind of like the dream. That's what you hope computers will do is automate the boring stuff for you. So, you know, you want to check something, boom, you just check it. Now, it's not always quite so simple because code, including testing code, is hard and it can error really easily. But once you got it going, you can nicely check. And as you can see, I'm actually running this from the terminal, which means I'm running it from my back end. So my back end ties in with my front end and it just pops up the browser here. It opens it up. It loads the images, makes sure they're in the right place. And then it like automatically moves the images. And you can also check the back end to say, okay, I moved the image. Did it do the thing on the back end that it was supposed to do? Did it save it in the right spot? And what I'm actually using is I'm using Django and it's using something called Selenium to load Chrome and just kind of automatically make it go do things. So you can see it's doing some things here. It's loading a logo and it's going to check, okay, did it load the right logo? And when I reload, does the same logo come up with the watermarks? And yes, it does. And all the tests have passed. And that means there's no bugs at all, right? Not really. <laughs> There are only seven tests, although there are tests within those tests, and I have more tests. Let me show you. So these are the tests I just ran. You can, if you guys know Python or Django, you would be able to see that's what this is. If not, like, it's just a bunch of code. And here's a bunch more tests. I have even more. These are actually just for the server. They do not, like, do a cool visual of popping up. But it's not exactly perfect. The idea is that you can run some automated tests and then check if everything's okay. Then if you make a change to your code, you can check again, see if anything got affected. The problem I run into is that about 90% of the time I have an error in one of my tests, it's an error in the test, not an error in the actual code. So, you know, it only goes so far. And a lot of what I do is actually just sort of manually testing it. Like I just go in and try something out and see if it works and then try something else out. And you know, a lot of times I'm building some sort of image for like a marketing thing and I'll test it out, make sure it works. And if it doesn't, I'll go in and fix it. But it is nice to have just sort of a last minute disaster check, especially as, you know, I'm going to launch fairly soon. I want to just run through these things, make sure everything's good. And, you know, before I get out to you guys. So that's basically the idea behind these automated tests. And that's why I use them. So, you know, it's not going to guarantee bug free code, but you know, it'll just help to make sure nothing's wrong and make sure I can make changes relatively quickly without disturbing things. So that's it. That's automated testing. Hope you guys have a good one. Talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye.